Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back. I am Mandy, and this is my channel. It is great to see you, and I absolutely am honored if you are coming back for the opportunity to watch another video, or if you are new to the channel, welcome, and I hope that you like it. Make sure that you take the time to go and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, hit the like button, and make sure that you just sit back and enjoy yourself. I have a sewing unit that I want to do with you. The unit is on buttons buttons and I have a surprise at the end for a type of button that I think that you will enjoy for this time of the year. <laughs> so anyways, there's a whole bunch of different kinds of buttons. So they have buttons that have four holes and buttons that have two holes and then we have buttons with a toggle on the bottom so you can see that it has that toggle with a hole in it okay so different kinds different sorts uh this is an odd one i've never seen one shaped like that but it's just another button that has two holes in it nothing fancy just two holes so don't let it weird you out thinking about that okay i am going to choose these bigger buttons to show you what we're going to do because i am going to Um, I'm going to show you how to put buttons on. And the reason for this is that if you have a shirt or a pair of pants or, 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 an, 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 what? Um, an article of clothing that has a button and it falls off. You gotta know how to put it back on. You don't want to spend a bunch of money taking it to a dry cleaner or a tailor to put on a button that literally can take you only five minutes or less to put back on. So I want to teach you how to do this. And in the spirit of that, um, I found this other button that is so weird. It's still a toggle. It's still the it's still got a toggle it's just inset in the button so again don't let that intimidate you okay it literally is just these three types okay um if somebody finds a different kind of button let me know put a picture down in the comments section and I will try and find one myself uh, or I will explain how it's one of these three kinds um, but I, I I can't think of one right now that would be different no I can't so it doesn't mean I'm right it just means I can't think of it myself so I have this piece of felt that I'm going to be using that had a hair on it. Hmm, sorry. Um, and I am getting really hot underneath these lights. <laughs> they are really hot. Um, and then I'm just going to sew these buttons on haphazardly. There's really no reason why I need to have them in a specific spot because I'm just using this as an example. It is just a piece of scrap material, meaning that I don't plan to use it for anything. But if you're just learning how to sew 
and you want to give it as a gift, honestly, if it's something like that, you know, this practice stuff can be very special to people that um, like grandparents or parents or what have you that know that you put the effort in to try. And um, later on, I can show you how you could turn something like this into a little pillow or something like that. Um, but right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to put this button on that only has two holes. Now, go and look at my video that's on tying a knot and threading a needle because you're going to need your needle threaded in order to do this. And so I will link those on my end card, okay? Um, so I'm going to roll that knot. And I had to double knot it because the knot is very small being a thing of thread instead of the yarn like I've got in my example video. There's my knot. Just absolutely fantastic, darling. And <laughs> I'm sorry if you don't like the voices that I use. I apologize. So anyways, I'm just going up through the fabric, through the back. And the reason for that is I don't really want it to show up on the front. Easy enough, right? So you want to make sure you go through the hole. That's a lovely second step. Now you cannot go through the same hole. You can try, but it doesn't really hold well. It has a larger possibility of ripping out the fabric in that spot and making it really weak and you want your button to be able to hold so you want to go to the other hole um in doing a button you don't want to go around the outside because that tacks your button down on the outside edges so that it can't go through a buttonhole that's absolutely pointless so you want to make sure you go from one hole to the other. And literally speaking, make sure that you hold it in about the same space. Don't let it just slide around like I just did. And then you are going to put your needle through the hole and pull that thread so that it is tight. And again, you're not going to want to go through the same hole that you did just now. You're going to go back to the first one. So for me, I don't really have to look, but you can turn it around and look and see where your last um, point of entry was. And um, go from there. So then you just repeat over and again. And I suggest at least five times. So I'm going to go through here. That was once. So here's twice. And I'm making sure that both sides of my thread are going through. I'm making sure not to make it too loose so that it doesn't get pulled out, but I'm also making sure that it's not too tight because I don't want my fabric to pucker, okay? And so that was twice, so I'm going to do it three more times. Three, four, ah, I missed, so I am going to use my guideline. Did I say four? Is this four? If I do it more, it doesn't matter. If I do it a little less, it doesn't matter. As long as I feel it's stuck on there, it doesn't matter, right? Because you know how to sew a button on. So if it comes off again, you can just do it again. If you do it right the first time, it has a less lesser likelihood of falling off again. Okay. Um, and especially if you're trying to match buttons, it is important to realize that it 
can be difficult to find the same type of button. Yes, there are a ton at different fabric and craft stores, but it it is something that is very specific when you think about color and shape and size and all of that. So um, I like to be careful about the um, about making sure that I get the button on correctly the first time. Okay, so I'm going to do this one last time. Going through both. Now you can see how I've got the thread going across from one hole to the other. I can just knot it off right now and do that or I can do this to just reinforce it a little bit. I will go through the fabric, but I'm not going to go through any of the holes. I'm coming out underneath the button so that nobody can see that I went through the um, fabric at all. So I pull that tight just like I have before. And now I'm just going to wrap that thread around the button a couple times. And that just sort of ties it a little more in place. And it it's not required. It's just something I like to do. Um, and then I don't even go through the button. I just go right back through one of those holes down there, straight to the back, and then I'm going to knot it off. So I'm going to slip this needle underneath that loop of thread, and then I put the needle through this loop that I've made twice. and pull tight and I've got a knot that I can just clip off and there you have it that is our button with two holes and it is on there tight so there's that one and we can move on to the one with four holes. So I'm just double checking. <laughs> I am in a really good spot here. Um, hopefully you were able to see everything that I was doing. And dropsies. Um, hmm. Let's see. I'm just going to haphazardly put these down. And then I'll do what I said and create like a pillow or something in a later video. Video. I don't even know what I said. Video. Video. I will do that. Okay, so I need more thread. So I am going to take this little piece of thread that will do absolutely nothing for me. And I'm going to throw that away stick and then I am going to find my spool of thread that is not on my great grandma's pin cushion because I want to keep that the same way okay Pull a length of thread, it doesn't matter how much you've got. And as I said, stick around because I have a surprise at the end. Um, I hope that you like it. Um, we will see. So I am going to thread this needle, hopefully. And I should have picked one up because I wanted to show you 
But if you have difficulty threading needles, there are things called a needle threader and they're plastic and it, um, it makes it easier to thread the needle because they um, split apart and they've, they're sort of designed like a needle, except they have a much bigger eye, which is the hole in the needle that the thread goes through. And um, so then it, uh, Brain, where did you go? So then it's easy to put the thread through that bigger hole. It would be like, you know, having this that you could put the thread through, you know, pretty big difference, right? And then you can just poke that plastic end through your needle and boom, you've got your needle threaded and it's really simple. You're going to move from one hole to the other. So you can do it vertically to where, or horizontally, whichever way you want to say that it is. Um, so directly across, or you can do it as an X. So I'll just show you how to do this as if the pattern is an X. So I went across diagonally, and then I'm going to go in one of the other holes that does not have thread in it yet. And I'm going to just go over to the one diagonal from that. And I'm going to repeat the same pattern over and over. So whether you choose diagonally or straight across, it doesn't matter. You're going to go and repeat the same pattern over and again. Make sure that you hold your button so that it doesn't spin around in a circle um, so that you can make sure that it's reinforced the same way. Now, you can see that I didn't hold my tension at one point. That means that the thread is not all the way through, so just it's not knotted in place. So I was able to just lightly tug on the back on the two pieces of thread and it pulled that down. This is a little more interesting. So this is a toggle. You can't just go straight through, ah, but you can stab yourself with a needle. Ow wee. Oh, I am yauchy. Uh, you can save yourself that pain and heartache by being careful and not just stabbing with the needle. Whoops. So you're going to go through the fabric where you want to have the button at. So I just went through. And yes, I'm doing these in a weird pattern, and that's fine. And then that was interesting. And then I am going to just go through that hole in the back of the button and then I'm going to go back down into the same hole and up through, then through the hole, 
then back down through the fabric. Now these are more wobbly. Don't worry about it, but you need to be a little more specific on where your needle goes in and comes out of the fabric because if you go haphazardly all over the place, you will be able to see it. These buttons do not lay flat on the fabric. So it's not the same. It's not as forgiving as the other types of buttons. I personally don't like these types of buttons, but I wanted to show you how to do this. So in order to do that, I had to show you a toggle button. Pretty easy peasy, right? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yes, I am a dog. And I'm just going to do this four, five, six, seven, fifty times. <laughs> four or five times going through the same spot approximately and my dears we are almost there and going through again 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 yes I know I am a very strange person <laughs> but I love it and I hope that you can just enjoy and let loose and have fun too um, I have to say when people first meet me they're a little thrown by that and I, I find it humorous um, because they either really like it somewhat like it or really hate it and you know what fine um but i i hope that i'm not overwhelming at times okay and so i'm going back through that really feels good um so i'm going to do exactly the same thing that i did for the other button i'm going to come out through the top and then I'm just going to wrap the thread around the base and go back through the fabric making sure not to pull too tight see it's still flat because you can make these pucker especially because of how the toggle is so you do not want to pull it too too too, too tight <laughs> sorry so i'm going to tie off the knot exactly like i have on the other ones i have the hiccups and i'm going to go through this twice and pull tight. I'm going to do it another time. Through there. It keeps looping around the corner of the fabric, so I'm just having to make sure that I get that pulled loose so it doesn't pull my fabric to the side and get the fabric stuck. That would be silly. Um, so I'm going to loop that through twice. Whoa, I dropped it. I can't tell. I think it's looped through twice, but three times doesn't hurt, right? So pull tight. Clip off that end. And here you go. So you have the three different types of buttons right there but i said that i had a surprise i found something and i am so excited about it because it is the month for halloween and i know a lot of people 
that really like a certain Disney movie called, what is it? Oh yeah, The Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> so I found these buttons and they are so cute. I just <laughs> love this. So I am going to open it. Oh my gosh, my fingers hurt so bad right now. But these are so adorable. And so I have Jack Skellington and, oh my gosh, what is her name? I just forgot. I literally had her name on the tip of my tongue. Uh, comment below because I can't remember. Sally, right? Sally. So, um, got Sally and she. So cute. And then Zero, my absolute favorite character in the show. And then they have these little skull buttons. I just think they are so adorable. And I wouldn't know what to do with them if I wasn't just doing something silly. And so I'm going to sew these on to this fabric, just like I laid out here. And um, then I'll make a little stitched pillow type thing just because, because I think it's cute. And so I'll do that and have the stitches around the edges that show and, um, so let me take some time and do that and I'll show it to you. They all have the toggle back on them. So it's going to be a little interesting because of their shapes. Um, some of them might be a little more difficult because I have to be careful about how fragile they are um, because these aren't very thick and I just don't want to break them. They are so cute. There is so much detail on this. And it's just adorable. I found it at um, a craft store in town. And so I'm, I'm really excited. So let me do this. Uh, 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 uh. I want him far enough away from the edge so that I can... Um, do my stitching later. Mm -hmm. And if you've worked with toggles enough, you can sort of pinch through the back and find that toggle. A little cheater move here and not even have to look through the front but you got to be careful because if you do it too tight it can pucker <laughs>
Okay, so there's our buttons and they are on there and I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you how to make this into a little pillow. Things are so interesting sometimes. No, no, no.